Blaine Greenfield. I have a show here on WPVM, the Blaine's World Show. You just may have heard, and we're on every Wednesday at 9 a.m. in the morning. But today we have in the audience with us a special show, and it's a group, it's a barbershop quartet. And I'll ask, is it uh, Steve? Steve. We'll yes. ask Steve to sort of be the spokesperson for it. Steve, who am I speaking with this well, morning? You're speaking with a group uh, would normally be a quartet, but today we're a quintet. I noticed that. From one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Land of the Sky Chorus, which is a, a barbershop harmony society chapter that has been around Asheville for 71 years. Uh, it's called Land of the Sky Chorus. We meet on Tuesday evenings, and uh, we, we rehearse. We have a lot of fun together. We break off into quartets, but we're also a chorus of about 30 uh, gentlemen at the time. Uh, we're all gentlemen at, at this moment. There's a possible future change to that. And you can see that we have a lady with us today, in fact, CJ. CJ uh, sang with us at the Holiday Community Chorus, where we sang around Asheville some nice Christmas songs. She has a wonderful voice, so we asked her to sing with us today as well. Okay, great. And so uh, this group is, um, we have this quartet today, plus one. And um, you do uh, concerts, is that correct? We do concerts. And, uh, okay, we do concerts, uh, especially uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing a concert uh, in mid-June at the Asheville High School. Uh, but we do, uh, we, we go around the city whenever, whenever anyone requests that we do a, either a, a quartet group or a, or a larger group or a chorus. We are very versatile, and we do about it, uh, 10 to 15 shows a year. Okay, and you also do, which is perfect timing, you're also available for, for Valentine's Day, is that correct? That's right. Today and tomorrow, uh, all the way up until about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, we will be singing Valentine's for anyone who would like to have one. Uh, you can go to our website, www.ashevillebarbershop.com, and uh, the first thing you'll see is an invitation to get a singing Valentine. Very sweet. And Steve, if, before you have you uh, sing our song or two, could I just have the rest of the group introduce themselves, if you, if you would, and come up to the mic <coughs> as you introduce yourself, so if you would. I'm Pete Kirchner, live in Hall Creek. Okay, thanks, Pete. I'm Lau Peterson. I live up at Mars Hill. I'm one of the bases of this group. Okay. Uh, I'm Bryson Lai. I live in South Asheville, and I'm a base also. Great. And you met Steve, and? I'm C.J. Wilson. I live in East Asheville, and I'm singing baritone. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on the spot, but I think... I heard that you have about three and a half hours worth of songs. And we're going to sing. <laughs> right, and we're going to condense it into I think twenty minutes or so. Of the show. How many songs do, are we? Well, about? we could do a couple of songs. Okay. These are the the songs we feature when okay. we do Valentine's. So why don't we do a first one? We're having upcoming Valentine's um, Day. That song is going to be what? Uh, Let me call you sweetheart. Very apropos for Valentine's Day. Okay. And if you would take it away, and and we'll get kind of close to the mics if you can. That'd be great. Okay. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you. Let me hear you whisper that you love me too. Keep the love like glowing. There's only one problem with that song, and the problem was I wanted to start singing, too. You know? <laughs> that would have been just fine, Blaine. I'm sure you have a great voice. Well, no, <laughs> I wouldn't go quite that far. But one of the great things about this is that um, you can tell groups that you have the mic, so, um, you know, I, I control the mic, so I, I could put my volume on low and then let you guys <laughs> sing. When you sing, do people sing along? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes we invite people to sing along. Sometimes people sing along just because they're in, in, in the spirit of it. Um, I've, I've watched a lot of people, especially former barbershoppers or just people who are singing in another chapter. They're in our audience, and they start singing along, and uh, that's perfectly fine with us. What if they're off tune? Oh, no, barbershoppers <laughs> are never <laughs> off tune. They sing <laughs> quietly is what they do. Okay, yeah, listen. they sing quietly. Sing quietly. That's right. Let me ask you, you folks, I'm always interested in this, is that, 
and we'll go uh, uh, around the the room here. How you got into barbershop singing, and if you would. Well, I got invited. I got invited by uh, a gentleman that I went to church with about 25 years ago, and he was a bass with the chorus. And I uh, said, "Hey, you want to have some fun on Tuesday?" I said, "Sure." So he said, "Come on down." So I did, and I've been doing it ever since. How long has that been? Oh, uh, that was in the late '80s. Really? Yeah. Now, as a kid, had you been had you sung? Uh, a little bit. We did some stuff in college with the oratorial chorus, you know, doing the Messiah and stuff. But uh, that was always the only experience I've had singing before this. So it must have been cool to all of a sudden get back into singing? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, the nice thing about our chapter is you don't really need to know anything about music. You just come down and we'll give you learning tracks and music and stuff. And you just learn at your own pace and we just have a great time. How many songs do you do? Or do you know? Uh... Probably a hundred, I guess. A lot of songs. <laughs> okay, we cool. Have a repertoire yeah. that ro- rolls. That we have a repertoire that rolls over and changes, and probably we have about twenty at any at any one time. And, and so pick up six to eight every year. Great. And the same question. So, how do you get into uh, come on up culture, if you would? <clears throat> um, I was a um, choir boy in in church for eight years. Mm-hmm. And then my voice changed, and they were no longer interested in me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you had to retire for a whole bunch I of years. I had to retire. And I, I sang in an a cappella, small a cappella group in, in college, and then got involved in careers, and didn't sing for a long, long time. And I also had a neighbor who bugged me until I agreed to come, and that was about 15 years ago. What's kind of cool about Barbershop Quartet, like you said, it's all of a sudden seems to be making a resurgence with especially all the a cappella groups, you know, that, yes. that in, I forgot the name of the group, but there's a popular group that there are in America. has got talent. Pentatonic. Yeah, Pentatonic. They're, they're the big ones. And now yeah. there are a whole bunch of others. Yeah. But boy, is the movement coming back. Are, are you seeing that in the barbershop quartet th- too? Yeah, I think that the, the um, uh, largest number of new members are, largest number of new members are, uh, are under 20. Oh, uh, wow, that so, must be, that so must be a, a big, change. That's a real change because the average age otherwise is in the 60s. Now, the probably. barbershop quartet music, too, and, and we'll eventually come to a second song you're going to be doing, but some of the songs, are, at least you do there, from our previous guests who were talking about you know, music from the 30s and 40s and 50s. Most of this music is kind of old. Is that is that a true statement? Yeah, I think it's it's it, it, that's the tra- tradition, and, and part of that's because... Um, uh, the kind of music we sing wants a, wants a melody, and so some of the a lot of the stuff that's more recent, um, or at least uh, ten to twenty years ago, within that range, has not been as melody focused as as the older stuff. Though I wonder, fifty years from now, if we were doing this show, or a hundred years from now, would they all of a sudden be doing music from the nineteen nineties, two thousand, two thousand ten, two thousand twenty? People people who uh, um, listen to uh, other people performing like to hear things that they recognize. That's true and, too, yeah. And uh, so we're we're actually we've actually introduced a whole lot of music, uh, uh, like Disney music and other things that are, are uh, James Taylor and other things like that uh, that people do recognize who who aren't sixty, um, and those are being arranged more and more for. And- and there are actually some people who aren't in the 60s and 70s? I, I, yeah, there are. There are. Yeah, there are actually more and more. Yeah, there are some more and more. What? Anthony, hmm. yeah. hey, come on. We'll, we'll switch gears here and have next. Let me, one other thing. Yeah. Is, um, uh, we, we work in the high schools as, as volunteers to, to try and uh, facilitate uh, youth quartets. And there's a, a young ladies quartet uh, called Formata that uh, just went to the international competition um, a couple of weeks ago and, and, and sang in the Grand Ole Opry. How cool is that? Yeah, it's really Great. Good. If you would, sir, the, um, again, your name is? Uh, Lyle Peterson. Lyle, so same question. How how do you get involved in this group? Well, I've been singing in choirs and choruses, you know, ever since I could talk pretty much. But, uh, so about 30 or 40 years ago? Uh, <laughs> more than that. Uh, a gentleman that I was singing in choir with uh, said, would you like, to, have you ever sung barbershop? And I said, no. And he said, well, we've got a bunch of old guys that get together and <laughs> do that on Monday nights. Why don't you come along with me? And I did, and the, uh, the harmony just really grabbed me. And to be a part of that harmony 
was something I knew I just had to continue. So when we moved here, one of the first things I did was look up the chorus and, and was able to join. I don't know if you know the answer, but the term is barbershop quartet. How did they come up with that term, or why is it a barbershop quartet? You know, what's the, uh, the origin of the term barbershop quartet, do you know? I couldn't say. Well, there are four voice parts. Right. There's tenor, lead, baritone, bass, and a minimum of four people can sing that. So the tradition has been, even if we have a big chorus, we break off into quartets and sing, um, you know, either, either to the audience or just out in the hallway or wherever. Uh, so the main reason is it's, it's because of the four voice parts. And in the very earliest days, there were no written arrangements. Uh, they would, gentlemen would start with a tune that they knew, and then others would join in and try to harmonize. And it evolved into what we now have for uh, harmony. You know, we have a bass that sets the bass, and a lead who particularly almost always sings the melody, a tenor who sort of floats above the melody, and a baritone who puts in all the missing notes in the chord, and there it becomes a quartet. What would happen if you had four bass? I mean, could you do a quartet, or sometimes some guy gets sick, or somebody doesn't show? Do you ever get stuck when you have two or three of the same sing singer? Well, we've got a spare today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. uh, and some of us do know more than one part to at least a few songs. So you could pinch in, pinch hit on that for a little bit. Yeah. So there was a uh, time several years ago when I was with a quartet singing Valentine's, and uh, it was snowy and <clears> icy, <throat> and our tenor fell and broke his arm. So while he was in the hospital getting that casted, we found another <laughs> chorus member that could sing tenor, and we went ahead until we could go to the hospital and pick him up and finish the day. Now, mm -hmm. did, did, he, did he finish the day? Oh, yeah. How cool is that? It's only a broken arm. <laughs> <laughs> if you would, same question. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 15 years. 15, 15 And your years. name again is? Bryson. Bryson. Bryson and um, how did you get involved? Uh, well, as I say, I had a, had a, I had a neighbor uh, who, who was a long-term barbershopper. Actually, he was the cousin of a neighbor. But every time he came over to the neighbor's house, he would come over and bug me, and finally I thought the easiest way to get him off my back was to come to one and then tell him I don't like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't find that. I, I, it was really fun. Um, had you done this in another life? Had you sung? Well, I, you said I, in church. Well, I sang, I sang in, the, in the boys' choir, and then I sang in an uh, a cappella group in, in college that was, um, was, was tight harmony, and very, actually very similar, and, uh, and a lot of the same songs, actually. Um, and that was a little while ago. The, uh, uh, I'm wondering, this would be cool, too, if there are any actual barbers who are in a barbershop before that. <laughs> Have no. you ever seen that? Or? No. I think, I think uh, I'm not sure where, where that came from, but I, uh, there's really been a, a re-recognition of the fact that our, our music really has a, a lot of its roots from uh, black a cappella, um, uh, just ear singing, uh, that started in, in the fields and they would just sing four parts while they were while they were working and then if, um, uh, on the streets or in, in barber shops uh, they they'd sing and I think it got picked up um, um, by uh, songwriters and publishers and um, as many things like this happened in those that era they could sell more sheet music to white uh, people who were buying it if it was white quartet so um, the black contribution is, is just being um, uh, endorsed and recognized now because it really was the major root for the music we do. And Steve, same question. Have you been doing this for how long? Well, um, when I was younger, I, I sang a little bit. I played a little bit of guitar. And then there was a long break. Uh, I was over in Europe, and I, um, my wife one day, Deborah, she said, hey, I'm going to go sing, uh, join a little uh, pickup choir about you know, 15, 20 people, and, uh, would you like to come? And I thought, yeah, I'll come along. And I fell in love with the whole idea. We, we got bigger and bigger and bigger. I became their chairman. So for 17 years, I sang with Voices International in Luxembourg, and I became the chairman after a couple of years and stayed that for 15 years. I was just totally immersed in it. It was almost like a full-time job, and I loved it. 
Do they have women's barbershop quartets? Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. So that's been a change over the a yeah. period of time. Well, there's another organization called the Sweet Adelines, and I think there's another one, too. Harmony, Remember, Harmony Inc. Harmony Inc. is another one that's ladies who organize uh, choruses and, and uh, quartets. Do you ever do a concert with them? Well, we did the holiday community oh. chorus. Also, when we do our concerts, we usually bring in other talents, and we have a local group called uh, Acapella Alive. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Acapella Alive is a ladies' group, and we have invited them to sing with us as well. And Thank Song of the Sky is the... And Song of the Sky is the uh, Sweet Adeline's group here in, in uh, Asheville. And even today, I'm impressed we have a, a, a guest performer as well. And, and Yes, and I've enjoyed <laughs> singing with both of those women's groups here in town. But how did you get involved in with the... They just saw you at, well, the holiday the chorus today? was a great opportunity yeah. to sing with the Land of Sky Chorus, and I love having the deep bass sound as well as singing with an all women's group. So it was an opportunity to try a different format of singing with a different range of voices, which is delightful. And we so we were sitting in a restaurant one day, and we heard this lady humming to herself. <laughs> 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 You're for us. Oh, I love it. No, is that a true story? No. Oh, <laughs> but it's a good story. But anyway, so now you're involved in this Valentine's Day promotion as well, too? Mm -hmm. So have you done that before? It's my first time doing Singing Valentine's. Oh, is that Great cool, fun. though? Yeah, very So fun. perfect opportunity, then. I, I believe you, you folks have another song you could sing, too, that's going to be part of the repertoire for Valentine's Day? That's correct. The name of the song, is, it's got two names. Uh, this is, what is it? Story of the Rose? Mm -hmm. Story of the Rose, but then we call it Heart of My Heart. So that it has two different names. And so if somebody contacts you through the website, or we'll, we'll repeat that at the end, they could have a choice as to what the, the song they want sung? Well, we have two standard songs. Right, but they have a choice of those, too? No, we sing both. Oh, you, oh, you yeah, yeah. two for the price of one? That's yes. right. Yeah. Good, you better believe it. Good deal. <laughs> but they, they, get, they get a rose, too. But oh, Very nice, That's but they can't, they can't ask for an encore, though. They're going to make trouble. Well, yeah, it depends <laughs> on, the, on the group of people they get. Yeah. If, if they know other songs together, because they have to know the songs together, then sure, we, we throw in some extras. No, but I'm saying if we have two songs, we'll just, the second could be the encore. you got one song. Oh, yes. Good point. <laughs> As for we have part. been known to sing some extra songs if all the people in the quartet or you're, quintet know the songs. Like it's not, or if you can hum along, though. Yeah, or, or you exactly. come in a restaurant that like that and just start humming and, right. and we'll let you join in. Exactly. So the second song, Guys Army to Sail You Thunder, is what again? Heart of My Heart or The Story of the Rose. And by the way, before we begin it, too, the, I, I always wonder about this. So the most important part is the guy who's going to do the, the uh, pitch, pipe. pitch pipe. Pitch yeah. pipe. Is that another role you have in the group? I just happen to have my pitch pipe along today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. T technology. <laughs> wow, is that too much? Okay, guys, hit it. Nice. So talk now about, so what happens on Valentine's Day? So people are interested in having you come to their place, or you'll do, where, where do you go? Anywhere, just about? We'll go anywhere in either Buncombe County or Haywood County. That's the, because we have to restrict the geographical boundaries because we have to get from A to B to C to D. Sure. Now it's just the five of you where you have other Oh, no, groups? we have uh, six groups like wow. this out uh, today, all around. 
uh, and we, uh, we have coordinators. We have people who get a call right now, and they might call us up in five minutes, or we may already have a message on our phone saying you need to go at 1130 to this place or that place. So it's real-time coordination. So how many gigs are you doing? Well, about we have the, about 30 group. already, and we're expecting another 30. Well, that's, you know, based on history. So there might be 60, of a, 60 different uh, locations, 60 different uh, opportunities to sing. So each of us would have, say, 10, wow. each of the groups. We, we, we love to sing, so we're, we would like to have as many as we can. One, one other thing to say is, is that uh, uh, we do have a, a ladies' quartet, too, from the Song of the Sky. And uh, if people would prefer to have a women's quartet come, that's also available. You just have to request that. Uh, this is better uh, sometimes when uh, a lady would like to deliver a valentine to her special guy and doesn't really think that uh, four guys coming and saying, <laughs> let, let me call you sweetheart, is exactly going to win his, his heart. Well, let me ask you, so this is, um, when they do this, it's, um, is there ever a surprise for people? Do sometimes oh, yeah. they don't know oh, about it? Um, uh, many times it's a surprise. Many times. And so it's probably, is it more fun when it's a surprise? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, just to watch the reaction of the uh, person who's receiving the valentine or the people. Sometimes it's a group of people who yeah. sometimes offices uh, will have, uh, you know, the boss will say, I want you to come sing to my, to my employees. Oh, is that cool? Yeah. Though? What, what's the largest number, the largest group you ever sang this to? Hmm. I don't know. What What would you guys say? A whole office, or yeah, yeah whole yeah. office. Yeah, whole office. Twenty, thirty people, maybe something and, like that. And they have to bring roses for everybody. Uh, no. that depends <laughs> on what they ask for. But usually, it's uh, for, there's somebody particular who's who's receiving it. Even if the whole office receives it, there's somebody like the, who's representative, and we give them the roses. Very sweet. So the idea is that we check the website, and Steve, I'll ask you to repeat that website again. Yes, it's www. Uh, uh, Ash, Asheville Barbershop. Dot com. Okay. And when they go there, they sign up for an appointment. They can only do this next two days. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and the sooner the better, of course, right. because of our availability. And also, if you call us at 7 o'clock tomorrow night and say you want us to be somewhere at 730, that's going to be tricky. Okay. Well, but how long do you do it? When did you start? Until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. That's our deadline. And you started what time? We started this morning at, what, 7 o'clock? Wow. Yeah, something like somebody that. Somebody wanted to take a Valentine's Day at 7 o'clock. What a great gift to give to somebody, you know, just something unusual. The, um, this also, we should mention, too, in closing, that this is, a, um, this is for a volunteer. It's a nonprofit part of what you do? We are nonprofit. Our, everything we do is nonprofit. Now, we have to have money to operate, right. of course, but, um, and we hope to make a little money off of this. But we, we do it. Even if we were going to break even, we'd do it anyway. But that's the whole idea of the Valentine's thing, that they're doing it, um, and it helps raise money for the organization. Come exactly. In. Yeah. One of the things we do is uh, we go into the schools and work with the youth, and this helps us uh, provide funds. For example, when we took Vermada to uh, uh, Nashville a couple of weekends ago, that, of course, takes money. And uh, so that's one of the things we did. We financed their trip uh, so that they could uh, perform on the Grand Ole Opry stage. Did you get to go with them? Yes, we we were part of another chorus that was actually singing there as well, a senior's uh, chorus. Oh, that must have been exciting. Well, it was a hoot. W was that the first time you ever been there? Uh, first time I'd been to the Grand Ole Opry, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and you actually performed? Yeah, on the stage, yeah. Wow, that must have been exciting. For the kids, yeah. too? Yeah, there was actually almost a 1,000 kids there nationwide, actually internationally. And uh, probably the highlight of the show was to have a 1,000 kids, 500 of them on stage because they wouldn't all fit on the stage. The other 500 were in the audience on the aisles. And they sang an acapella version of Seven Bridges Road. And uh, it still gives me chills when I think, think about it. It was just... It no, was me, me a, too. Yeah. And can you imagine the logistical nightmare of this, you know, to oh. put this together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was uh, the International Organization, the Photoshop Harmony Society put that on. Okay. Well, like I said, on, on short notice, I want to thank you guys. This was fantastic. And if you're looking for a great Valentine's Day gift to give somebody, especially if you surprise them, um, contact one last time. Yes, www.ashville.com. Barbershop, one word, dot com. Okay, and as I told Steve off the air, we're going to have to get you come back. We'll, uh, we'll have you do more than two songs, so we'll have you do a whole um, hour of songs. But that was great. Thanks for coming on board, guys, and we look forward to thank, hearing more thank about you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Happy thank Valentine's you, guys. Day. And I'll have you just wait for me outside a second. I just thank want you. to do one last thing, and thank you very much. Great job. Okay, and we're wrapping up. This is uh, Blaine Greenfield with uh, WPVM-FM. And we're going to go back to our regular programming.
But thanks for listening to this special broadcast and watching it hopefully on Facebook Live.